Baby KJ arrived earlier than expected, but the family's joy was shattered when KJ was diagnosed with a rare genetic illness called CPS1 deficiency. Only half the newborns with it survive. You Google CPS1 deficiency and it's either fatality rate or liver transplant. With time running out, doctors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia decided to take a chance, an experimental gene editing treatment tailor-made for KJ. The drug is really designed only for KJ, so the genetic variants that he has are specific to him. This could revolutionize the way we treat rare disorders. The treatment needed to do two things. First, search the three billion genomic letters in KJ's body for the one mutation causing the problem, then swap it for the proper one. Secondly, make sure it's delivered before KJ's body breaks down the messenger RNA therapy. To do that, it was wrapped in a protective cocoon. It's a Canadian technology, previously used for COVID-19 vaccines and developed by a Vancouver-based company. Now, KJ's case is raising hopes that personalized gene editing treatments could work for other conditions. It gives us the pathway by which we can use a very similar approach to treat another baby with a slightly different disease. Along with hope for the treatment come concerns that access to it be widespread. How can we ensure that we create a framework and a path um, to adopt in, a, in an ethical way, but also in a faster, rapid way? KJ's case will be watched closely, says this doctor specializing in precision medicine. We need to follow over time. Are there any unexpected side effects that we are not thinking about? KJ might still need a liver transplant down the line, but for now, he's doing well. His family feeling relief and hope for the first time in months that he might come home. Jennifer Yoon, CBC News, Toronto.